<laughs> Hello and well, thank you. Hello and welcome to Games Master. Tonight we have our usual Lancashire hot pot of a show with news, tips, reviews, and the first of our game playing challenges to be set by the man who rules the circuits with a somewhat floppy rod, the Games Master. Greetings. I am absolutely delighted that you've decided once again to pitch your skills against one of my little challenges. Let's hope you've got what it takes to be successful. First off this week, I thought we'd have some fun on zany golf. A miniature windmill, telescopic walls, these are just some of the oddities you'll need to negotiate if you're going to win. The person who completes the most holes without running out of shots will be the victor. So keep a steady hand and beware of those yips. Our contestants for this challenge have a somewhat Oedipal bent to them. A father and son contest who can keep the nerve in the sudden death playoff. Please give a warm Games Master welcome to Nigel and Adam Bolton. Welcome to the Games Master, Nigel. And welcome, Adam. Now, Nigel, if, um, if I can start with you, Nigel, it's very good to, say, to see, how shall I say, the older games player on the show. Who plays the most games in the house, then? Oh, he does, definitely. Right, but you still wrestle the joystick off him now and again? Constantly. <laughs> Can't keep away from it. OK. Now, Adam, how do you fancy your chances against your dad? Who usually wins at the games? Well, usually it's me, but sometimes my dad can win it. It depends what type of game it is, really. OK, if you'd like to go and take your places in the hot seat, we'll get ready to begin the game. Joining me for even more punishment in the pulpit is Tim Boone from Computer and Video Games magazine. Hello, Welcome Dominic. back, Tim. Thanks. Now, what's general tips you could give the players for zany golf? Ooh, well, there's always something going to come at you, give you some trouble. Basically, play like a lunatic. OK, should be a lot of fun to watch then. Are our two competitors ready? Yeah. Yep. OK, Adam, tee off. Now, Tim, where's the hole in this first screen? You can't actually see the hole on the screen here. It's actually hidden at the, towards the bottom. But to get there, what Adam needs to do is to put the ball down the chute, which you can see marked by the arrows, right. to get to the bottom, which is exactly what he's just done. Down I goes. see. So where will that come out It's then? rolling out of the lighthouse, just behind the wall. All right, so quite a safe a first shot. Safe first shot. OK, now his father, Nigel. Yeah, I wonder if you'll try a different approach. Nigel can go for something a bit spectacular. If he hits it really hard at the top, he can actually go through the windmill for bonus points, but I don't know if he feels that confident about right. it. No, oh, oh no! Disastrous first shot, disastrous. Oh, and he's right back, even further, further back than back. when he began. Absolutely. Now, will Adam take advantage of this? So what can we see him doing? Oh, he's taking the shot already, and he's yep. going to bounce off the fence, I think into quite a nice straight position. Adam's actually taken a very careful shot. What he's done is lined himself up so he's straight onto the hole. OK. Away he goes. Oh, off is the it? Wall. Oh, no. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear. So Nigel's dropped two shots. It's not looking terribly good for Nigel. I, I think he needs some extra tuition, actually, at this stage. OK. Meanwhile, we go back to Adam. He's in a very, very good position indeed and Adam's could wrap up good. the match in this first hole. Absolutely. So, again, he can afford to be really cautious here, can't he? Yep. Oh, but he's let go with that one. Oh, could that? Oh, he's just missed that. Meanwhile, Nigel has three shots left, <laughs> but if he can't get up the tunnel in this one, maybe he can get a free stroke. Maybe he can. I think that's exactly what he's going for. He's in. Oh, no. Nice. Now, that's more like it. Back on the... Oh, excellent, excellent shot. Now, immediately, Nigel leaps back in that game. But here comes Adam here going, trying to sink this pot with this one. He's got quite a lot of strength on his mouse bar there. Very, very tense here indeed. Oh! oh rebound in, and in he goes. Smart shot there. Using the wall to rebound in. Excellent shot. So now we have Nigel again. Quite a straight shot here. He's only got the one shot left, and he's in with it. Oh, he's in with it. <laughs> Went for broke. Scored. Excellent recovery. At one stage, we all thought he was doomed. That's right. We thought he was out of the ball game. But as it is, we're going to go into the second hole, where, in fact, Nigel, because of him going through the windmill, it's a stroke ahead. Absolutely. The hole is somewhere over to the right. You can't see it on the screen. If you make a mistake, you can end up in completely the wrong place. Okay. It's very important that you get this right. And basically, to get it right, you have to just go over the first wall and rebound with the second. So a very crucial first stroke. Adam must know the trick. If he gets it wrong, I, uh, oh, he's got it wrong. But he could be very, very lucky here. Oh, is this going to slip down here? Oh, my word. He was very nearly extremely lucky. But now we come on to Nigel here, who really must fancy his chances, Nigel. As long as he can negotiate the rules correctly, that's the important thing. But again, if you muck up the first stroke here, you could well be in trouble. Absolutely. Oh, and it's got... Oh, my word! 
Excellent. Oh, oh. nearly a oh. Oh, 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 very close indeed. Oh, dear. So I'm afraid things aren't looking good for Adam now, they too. Are. Adam's in a bit of a pickle. What he needs to do, actually, is use this hill to, to, to curve his ball around into the... Oh, exactly which he has done. Ball. And it's rolling down there. It's going to rebound, leaving him up with quite a straight shot. But he's only got one stroke left. Absolutely. It's going to be very tough. Now, Nigel has played this hole to perfection so far. And here it goes. Off oh, the ball. Dear. Just missed. OK, now, very, very tense moment here. Adam prepares for his last stroke. Quite a straight shot, but he doesn't want to overplay it, Tim. Absolutely, he's got to get this, this bang on. I think he's looking not too bad with that. Oh, and I see, oh, oh he's oh, just oh. missed it. Oh, no! Tragedy for young Adam what there. Yeah, very. Two strokes left, this could be getting quite tense for Two left, Nigel he needs one well. straight shot. He needs, to get that. he needs to get the cursor straight behind the ball. And here it goes, and he's sunk it, and Nigel is the winner! Congratulations, Nigel. You struggled at the start, but that was some shot you pulled out of the windmill at the start. That turned the game, didn't it? Well, I thought I'd lost it, but um, excellent show through in the end, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Adam, what do you have to say to that? Well, um, I tried to, but um, the mouse was still a bit funny. It wasn't like when he was at home. Even right. at home, the mouse butter wasn't so that good. on a good day, you think you could give your yeah. dad a pasting? Yeah. OK. Well, the best golfers win the best prizes, and this is no exception, because the winner here has won a special Games Master Golden Joystick, and that goes to... Oh, hang on a minute. We've just had, uh, we've just had a last-minute judge's decision, in fact, and Nigel has been disqualified for being far too old to play video games in the first place. So I'm afraid the Golden Joystick... Now, we know how good a game as any golf is, but you can't always choose a game by its cover. Here to help you decide what to spend your pennies on, we now go to our reviews section. The theme for this week is sports games. First up on the Mega Drive, experience some awesome gridiron action in John Madden 92. John Madden 91 really was the best sports simulation for me of last year. Well, John Madden 92 looks like being the best for this year. It's taken all the basics, the great graphics, the great sound effects of the first game and made them even better. Instant replay is a must. Check it out. It's similar to John Madden 91, uh, but it's got a bit more of a sense of humour and, like, the ambulance comes on if a player's injured and practically runs over the whole team. Excellent. Lots of, lots of things to do. Brilliant in two players. Excellent in one player. Get it now. 28! Hut! 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 Next up on the Game Boy, one-on-one -on -one action as you rim and slam dunk with the best of them in NBA All-Star Basketball. All the characters from the NBA are there. Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Patrick Ewing. Your sport for choice, really. And it really is good value. All-Star Basketball could be a good game for you if you like one-on-one, -on -one, but if you're looking for a normal game of basketball with two teams, then it's not worth it. It's not basketball, it's one-on-one, -on -one, run about, run up to the basket, throw the ball, and that's it. Finally, on the Amiga, Thrill to the sound of leather on willow and the feel of a googly or two in Graham Gooch cricket. I'm a big cricket fan and I like the idea of a cricket simulation, but somehow I don't think Graham Gooch cricket really does the sport full justice. From what I've seen, it's just stand in the middle of the pitch, wiggle the joystick or the mouse, and hope for the best, uh, not what I'd call demanding. <laughs> Now it's time for our new game section. Later this year, we'll see the arrival of Cyberfight, the gladiatorial combat sport of the future. The game's programmer, Michael Powell, gives Games Master a sneak preview. So 
Cyberpunk is set in the 20th century. You look at the controls of a giant uh, cybernetic robot, which was uh, used in the previous wars as a battle machine, and now it's used in the arenas to entertain thousands of people in a universe-wide sport. Now we go on to our celebrity challenge, and here to detail it, once again, is the Games Master. Hello again. For the second challenge this week, I thought we might take the liberty of indulging in a spot of boxing. The game I've chosen is Final Blow. And your task, oh dear, I say it, is simply to pummel your opponent into submission as quickly as possible. Adding to the building stuff indeed. So keep your guard up, keep your punches high, and may the best man win. And we are in for some fight tonight. We have two very tough contenders for the title. Our first contender is Gary Wilson from Aldershot, and he'll be taking on former British, European and World Featherweight Champion, the Clonest Cyclone, Barry McGuigan. <laughs> Welcome to Games Master, lads. Dominic. Now, Gary, if I could turn to you first, how confident are you for this fight? Have you been training hard? Yeah, I'm quite confident. I've been training really hard, you know, after six every morning, taking the steroids every day. <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, let's see what you're appointing us to see. It is Gary. Uh, Barry, you're a bit of a games player as yourself, aren't I'm you? I'm a bit of a pretender. I think Gary here is a bit of an expert. But I've had this game for a while, and I've tried to... I've got a Sega. My son's got a Sega at home, and we've been playing it together. Unfortunately, he's been knocking me out all the time. <laughs> OK, well, let's have a good, clean fight and come out boxing. If you'd like to take your seats in the hot seat, and we're about to start. Well, we can taste the tension here at ringside. Will the young pretender from Aldershot tame the clone cyclone? For this and many other brutal climaxes, please join us after the break. Welcome back to Games Master. If you've just joined us, the tension here is intense as young Gary Wilson from Aldershot attempts to take on the might of Barry McGuigan in a fearsome boxing contest. With me at ringside to help commentate is Tom Watson from Renegade. Tom, how do you see the fight going tonight? Well, it's very much an all-action game, final blow. Spoken to both the contestants, I know they're really looking forward to it. I think that's what we'll see on the screen. OK, great. Are our two contestants ready? Then come out boxing. So we have young Gary Wilson in the blue shorts playing from left to right, Barry McGuigan in the red shorts playing from right to left. And McGuigan starting off with some punches to the body, some fearsome body blows from McGuigan there. Wilson, will he be able to take it? He's been tested now, but he's punching back look, at McGuigan. If we look below the players, we'll pick up the energy bars. So uh, they're both going down about equally at the moment, Dominic. It's fairly even. OK, but McGuigan's picking him off with some jabs there. Nice left, right hook. He needs to get that guard there. up around his head, protect his head. Oh, he's taking a lot of the chin. The yeah, Wilson's boy chin's been severely dead. It's going to go on that way. This is brutal. And McGuigan's not stopped. McGuigan's in with the right left combination again. And Wilson's down for a standing count. But he's up quickly he's from up the two. His energy tops up just that little bit after a count. OK, thank you, Tom. But he, needs to, he really needs to get his head, hands up around his head if he wants to protect himself against this. Right, but he's dishing out the punishment now. Oh, and that's McGuigan now for a standing count. What an evenly matched fight, Tom. Well, McGuigan's taking it. For, he's taking account of he's five. Oh, and he's he's going, going back towards the ropes. Wilson, oh, but Wilson's taking some close to the head. It really does come down to that guard. Round. End of the first round, seconds out, round two. And Wilson started as he needs to go on. He's oh, like, the these the rounds round. are only a minute long, but I don't think the fighters are going to last the second. I think it'll be settled here. No, oh, no, no, Wilson's no way to go dishing out evenly here. Luke Wiggins in trouble. Oh, he's oh, down. Oh, and is he going to get up from this one, Tom? I think it looks, it looks all over oh, the middle, and he looks all over. I think the young Wilson is paying up the corner oh, cycle, and he's not going to get up from this one. That's round. it, Gary Wilson. We in the commentary box thought you were out of the fight, you were knocked down very, very early, but somehow you managed to pull back. Yeah, I thought I was out too, but, you know, basically I thought I've got to go down with the fight, so I jumped in, the old fire buttons blazing, and come out on top. Congratulations to the loser. Now, 
Barry, like we say, we thought it had gone the way of most of your fights. You had the measure of your man from the start, but then it slipped away. I thought I had him in the first round there. I had him down. I got a bit overconfident and I got cocky and I got caught. Bang, the fight was over. Okay, now Gary, as a winner, you get the most coveted prize in television. Our very own Oscar, the Games Master Golden Joystick. <laughs> Thank you very much to Gary Wilson and our gallant loser, Barry McGuigan. If you want to be as good a player as Gary, you can either practice hard into the wee small hours or look out for exclusive tips and cheats from everybody's favourite agony uncle, the Games Master. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. In Metal Gear, I keep getting lost in the maze zones. Is there an easy way out? Hmm, mazes. Um, I'm rather partial to a maze or two. You simply need to explore, young man, then memorize the correct route. If I remember correctly, now let me see. Left, left, up, then left will enable you to get through this particular maze zone and progress to the following buildings. Thank you very much. Well, please don't get lost. And I think we have someone now coming up. Hello, Games Master. Hello to you, young man. In Mega Man 2, I'm having real trouble killing Dr. Wily in his alien form. Can you help me? Yes, I'm sure I can. Quite obviously, dear boy, you're not using the bubble lead. Only by using the bubble lead can you dispose of Dr. Wily when he's in the alien form. All right, I'll try that, thanks. We have one more today, I think. I wonder who it is. Hello, Games Master. I always get killed by the Blue Lobster whenever I play The Revenge of Shinobi. How can I kill him? Well, you need to show a little initiative, young man. When you enter the chamber, jump onto the left-hand wall. Then, as he attacks and lowers his sword, you need to jump, somersault, and shoot. If you repeat this procedure a number of times, you will overcome this villainous shellfish. Thank you very much. Well, you will find it really does have results. And I think that's enough little tidbits for one week. Heed my advice until we meet again. Now for our final challenge, let's see what Games Master has planned. Ninja warriors have been conspicuous by their absence from the programs to date, so I've decided to put that right with Shadow Dancer. Your task is to guide the warrior and his faithful hound through the second and third levels of burning downtown Brooklyn in two and a half minutes without losing life. You will need to rescue all 11 hostages before destroying the reptilian end-of-level guardian. So keep your wits about you and don't trust anybody. To add a cheeky little twist to this challenge, our competitor has never seen the game before. The reason for this is that we think he's quite good enough, but we have a games playing legend for you now. Sega European games playing champion, Danny Curley. <laughs> Welcome to Games Master Curley. Now, tell us, how did you become Sega European champion? Well, Sega sponsored a big national tour and held heats in every city of the country. So I just entered and I won the heat, which sent me to the final. Now, you must practice a lot. How, how many hours a day do you spend playing games? Well, uh, recently it's been 10 hours a day because I've, I've got a job as a, a Tech software company where they program computer games as a game tester. Oh, brilliant. That must be the perfect job for you then. Yeah, it is. <laughs> OK, if you'd like to sit yourself down in the game playing chair, we'll get ready to start. And joining me in the pulpit is Sega expert Neil West. Now, Neil, you've seen the Carly play a lot of times. How do you fancy his chances on Shadow Dancer? It's going to be tough. Um, the trouble with Shadow Dancer is you only take one hit and you die. There's no energy meter. Right. But if anyone can do it, Curly's the man. OK, Danny, are you ready? Then begin the challenge. And off Danny goes. 
Okay. Um, now, the first thing he's got to watch out for is these rocks falling from above. Um, not only are the ninjas, warriors, and other things out to get you, but there's also an earthquake going on. Oh, dear. Okay, can... that's, was that whole one hostage is That's one hostage gone. If you look at the bottom, down in the bottom right-hand side of the screen, you'll see that, um, how many are there now? Five little dots. That indicates that he's got to rescue five more hostages before the level's over. Out comes another warrior through the glass. Here we go, here's the earthquake. You can expect this sort of thing happening all the time. The floor will open up, walls will crash open, things will fall from above. He's really got to keep on his toes. Okay, so Kelly negotiated that gateway chasm there. Oh, there's some more rocks, but he safely got past that. And this boy really has taken to this game like a duck for water, Neil. <laughs> he really is a pro if ever there was one. Right, like a ninja to an emergency. Okay, now, oh okay. my word, someone just leaped through that window there. Obviously, wasn't driving a Volvo. Okay, that's another hostage rescued. Only one more to go. Now, he hasn't used his dog. Um, if he holds down the fire button, um, Oh, but he's, he's completed the first level. Well done, Danny. Absolutely. He's against the end of level guardian here now. This is where it starts getting very tough. Certainly. Certainly. Oh, my word. Look at all those rocks come pouring down here. Now, Curly at his disposal also has some magic. Um, I don't know whether he's going to choose to use it or not, but it should get some hits on this guy. He seems to be doing OK. Oh, here we go. He's, he's using the mind. magic. Here we go. He can only use this once per stage, so he's obviously saved it till the end. When he oh, and he's uh, done it. And he's done it. The bad guy's bought it. <laughs> Now, Danny, that was absolutely staggering. I know you're European champion, but even still, you just breezed through that. Were you worried at all? Yeah, a bit at first. What was, what was some of the most difficult things to overcome in the game? The rocks. They yeah. Down. <laughs> yeah, they did sneak up on you pretty craftily yeah. there. Well, Carly, you're a legend already, but you have won the prize that even legends dream of, the Golden Games Master Joystick! <laughs> And that round of applause for the European singer champion, Danny Cronin! So that sterling effort brings tonight's show to a climax. It's Lemon Verbena for me, and join us in seven days for another Games Master. Good night. <laughs>